The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the long rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Tuscaroras. Looks like they were expecting us. Me not like Tuscarora. Welcome. Be shown. They've only got bows and arrows. No use in wasting lead. Oh, they got me! Run for your life, Chingachgook! Tuscarora, not give much trouble. Fight like squaw. Well, I wouldn't take him too lightly. I don't think it was an accident that they knew we were on our way to Fort Redstone. Lieutenant Louis de Grasse, you are unworthy of bearing the arms of His Majesty. Prisoner de Grasse, I degrade you in the name of the King. Get him out of my sight. Prisoner. Left turn. March. His shoulders look kind of naked. If you have any business here, the sergeant. Hawkeye. Colonel. My executive officer, Major Moncrief. Glad to meet you, Major. You must excuse my abruptness. We've just been through some very distressing business. You must be Chingachgook. The Colonel has told me about both of you. Does that prisoner have anything to do with our being sent for? Everything. It's all there. The notes on Lieutenant de Grasse's court's martial for treason. When's he hang? As soon as the escort arrives to take him to headquarters. I, for one, am still hopeful they'll show him some clemency. Still moved by his plea of innocence, are you, Moncrief? Wishful thinking, sir, but after all, we do wear the same uniform. Read that, it'll save time. Breach load and rifles. We hear talk of that. Shoot more fast. The greatest military development since the discovery of gunpowder. In proper hands, a weapon that could put an end to warfare. De Grasse stole the plans? Worse than that. Fifty of the actual rifles themselves. You have proof? Beyond any doubt. But what concerns us now is finding out what he did with the rifles and getting them back. Fifty new weapons like these in the wrong hands? Whole frontier could go up in flames. Chief of Tuscarora tribe would sacrifice half of them to get breech-loading rifle. And knowing Taiwan, I'd say you're right. But I'm not so sure he's got a hold of them yet. I'm glad I'm not the only one guilty of wishful thinking. I'm afraid you stand alone, Major. We had a bit of a skirmish with the Tuscaroras on our way here. If they'd have had breech loaders, they'd have sure used them instead of bows and arrows. Then where can they be, Hawkeye? It's just as if the ground opened up and swallowed them. Well, the sooner we start digging, the sooner we'll get to the bottom. Hmm. Strong arm with shovel, dig tunnel faster than words. Hawkeye. De Grasse couldn't have accomplished his perfidy alone. 
He must have had some outside help. I suggest you let us assign some troops. Mean and no offense, Major. This isn't parade ground country. Those red coats of yours would be pretty dazzling on a quiet trail. You'll hear from us, Colonel. For 10 years I worked with my hands on the docks of Marseille. I had only a cloth of bread sometimes, putting away each precious franc, saving for the day I could buy passage to a free new world. Would I not be a madman to have exchanged the fulfillment of a dream for a traitor's mess of pottage? I got to admit, that's a lot of trouble to go to to get yourself hung. But you've got to tell us more than just dreams if you want to get yourself out of this. I can tell you only what I've already told the Colonel. I delivered the plans to build the breech loaders to the gunsmith personally. You'd think the Army would have those guns made at headquarters. Well, Benton is a former Army man himself. Besides, there is no better gunsmith in this territory. It appears I haven't been of much use to you. Or myself. I wouldn't say that, Lieutenant. You've convinced us that you're not a traitor. I wonder if the same thing can be said for that gunsmith. We'll do what we can for you, Lieutenant. Tuscarora still follow. Uh, don't look back. I don't want him to know that we know he's there. He's like beaten dog, afraid to go near cooking pot. He acts like somebody. He just wants him to keep track of us. But if I know those Tuscaroras, they'll satisfy their hunger when their teeth get strong enough to chaw us all up. My white brother and me can pull fangs of ten Tuscaroras. Maybe if they just got bows and arrows. But if they ever get their hands on those breech loaders, they'll take us and all the king's men to keep them from becoming a pack of murderous wolves. You get a wink of sleep these days. All right, all right, I'm a coming. And stop that banging. You need knocking it down. Redskin and a woodsman. Can't you tell the time? It's past 8 o'clock. Shop's closed. Come back in the morning. Oh, the morning's for hunting, Mr. Benton. I can't get much done unless my rifle's in good shape. Night work will cost you double. Came here to get it fixed, not to haggle. Oh, don't just stand there. Hand it over. Fine weapon. Fine weapon. Goods I can make myself. What do you say is wrong with it? It's kind of old fashioned. Ain't seen better. I heard you have. Take that flintlock off of there and cut a little slot under the hammer. Cut this piece here and fix it so it'll open up. You got a breech loading rifle. Oh, you're madder than a hoot owl. There ain't no such thing. Now you get. No use popping your eyes, Benton. We heard at Port Redstone that you've been making breech loaders for the Army. Who told you? That's a military secret. Still would be if the 50 guns you made had ever reached the military. You a Mohican? Me, Mohican. Then you must be... Hawkeye. Well, what do you want with me? I already told the Colonel everything I knew. It's them two soldiers you ought to be looking for. The ones I delivered the guns to. Delivered? What I mean is, they come here with an order signed by Lieutenant de Grasse. What do you expect me to do, except turn them over to him? Would you recognize those two soldiers if you ever saw them again? They was as close to me as you be now. Red coats and all. But they weren't from the fort. Colonel had me look over all the troops. Well, you can ask him. He read it all down. Him and that major. When man hide truth. Tongue rattle fast. Now, look at here. The Colonel was satisfied with what I told him. And you've got no call to say I'm lying. 
No, we wouldn't think of doubting the Colonel's word. Except that he's been kind of careless lately about keeping track of missing men and all that. Haven't heard of any soldiers that were missing. You're sure you gave those guns to Redcoats? I told you. The Colonel writ... Wrote it all down. The Army keeps track of missing soldiers. Now, who did you give those guns to? They had no different to grass. Well, maybe they stole it. And them red coats I was wearing, too. You're lying and you know it, Benton. Where are those breech loaders? Hawkeye. Me know how to make tongue loose. <laughs> Where are breech loaders? You tell or I take scout. You wouldn't dare. I dare. You better loosen your tongue or he'll loosen your hair. Me count. One. Two. Wait. Wait. I promise you let me go. There wasn't really any soldiers. But uh, I, I wasn't in this alone. The whole... Like mist in sun, go fast. Leave it as nothing but a blind trail. Me know how to loosen tongue, but not of dead man. Killer ride that way. That's strange. I was certain he was headed for the fort. How my brother sure Redcoat kill gunsmith? His pistol ball. See those little marks? They're letters. GR. They stand for George Rex, the king. Army puts that mark on all its ammunition. Stop here. Killer, get off and walk. Right, the ground did open up and swallow them breech loaders. Wagon track. And that? That's just about the size of the box they use to ship guns in. If I'm not mistaken, those tracks will lead us right smack in the middle of a Tuscarora war dance. When start war. Taiwan likes doing things proper. What interests me right now is that teepee there. Tuscarora braves. Not guard empty teepee. You can bet on that. It is Tuscarora custom. Medicine man must give signal before start war dance. I have time to see. We both have time.
Sergeant. Muster the garrison. We're marching on the Tuscarora village. Full battle dress. Aren't you putting the cart before the horse, Colonel? Hawkeye! You have your order, Sergeant. Terrible things have been happening since you left. Benton's been murdered. I know. This is what killed him. Army issue. Put that together with some boot prints and you've got the answer to what's going on around here. Not very pretty, is it? Treason, murder, and I'd never have expected either of de Grasse. De Grasse? Tell you the truth, Colonel, neither would I. Lieutenant is great medicine man, able to stay in jail and shoot gunsmith in faraway village. Chingachgook, would it interest you to know that he was not in jail? For your information, De Grasse escaped during the changing of the guard last night. Major Moncrief is out with a patrol searching for him. I don't mean to be disrespectful, Colonel, but how do you figure marching on the Tuscarora is going to help you find your escaped prisoner any quicker? De Grasse is the least of my worries now. I don't have to tell you what it means if our breech loaders fall into the hands of Taiwan. And by all that's holy, I'll find them if I have to tear down every Tuscarora teepee. Reckon I can save you the trouble, Colonel. We've already found them. What? Still in their boxes, sitting right smack in the middle of the Tuscarora village. Still in their boxes, you say? Then our only chance is to march on them before they have an opportunity of organizing an attack. The way I look at it, Colonel, we've got to get those breech loaders away from the Tuscaroras first, or you won't have anybody left who can march back. Colonel, did you ever have a powwow with the Tuscarora chief, Taiwan? No. Well, maybe you ought to. We're beyond powwow. A lot of grief in this world could be saved, Colonel, if people would just take the time to talk things over, face to face. Hawkeye, I earn my way as a soldier. But that doesn't mean that I enjoy war any better than you do. I'd walk to a peace council in my bare feet if only I knew that I could trust Taiwan to keep his word. I'm afraid you haven't got much choice, Colonel. In the face of those breech loaders, your garrison has about as much chance as sheep in a slaughterhouse. <laughs> Are you Tuscarora Braves or howling dogs? Hawkeye come to sign a peace. Hey, Juan, the white chief wishes a council of peace. Why white man not talk peace when Tuscarora Braves have only bow and arrow? Any man can make a mistake no matter what the color of his skin. And you'll be making the biggest mistake of all if you turn us away now. With this, Tail One no make mistake. The 50 fire sticks you have now can do a lot of damage for a while. You might even drive the white man out of these parts. But many more will be back with more fire sticks than you can count. The white chief has spoken with a straight tongue, Taiwan. The big chief of chiefs, his majesty the king from across the great waters, will always hold out his hand in peace to you. Only one way Tuscarora have peace. Be strong. Well, Tuscarora bows and arrows are good medicine for hunting. But they're bad medicine to fight wars with against guns. Hawkeye talk like old man without mind. Tuscarora have better guns than white man. Bows and arrows that shoot are better than guns that won't shoot. Hawkeye never see gun like this before. Shoot fast, straight, kill many Yankees. I know more about those fire sticks than you do, Chief. The white man who sold them to you betrayed you, just as he betrayed his own people. I know you must have traded plenty of good furs and wampum for those guns, but they're bad medicine. Red man can't fire them. Taiwan, red man. Taiwan makes shoot. Go ahead. Try it. 
Hawkeye's tongue. Bring him sudden death. I speak truth. Guns, no good. Chief, guns, good or bad, can never solve our differences. All white men hate Tuscarora. Go. Now, I'd suggest you think it over, Taiwan. You're worse off now than you were before you bought those guns. The white chief here still holds out his hand in peace to you. Taiwan, I was sent here to keep the peace, not make war. White chief, speak truth. Want Indian and white man to live like brothers. Like Hawkeye and me. We sit, make counsel, smoke pipe of peace. Sweetest smoke I can think of. The prisoner de Grasse. Guards, wait outside. You'll both be interested to know that we've recovered the breech loaders. Hawkeye and Chingachgook risked their lives to accomplish that. They are to be complimented, sir. Lieutenant de Grasse, your innocence has been established. And with my most sincere apology, I'm restoring you to duty. And my first order to you is arrest Major Moncrief. Well, sir, you're making a most grievous error. Not as grievous as most of yours have been. Taiwan, stand back, all of you. Drop those guns. You're not going to send me to the ghetto. Come on, get away from that door. Come on, move. Here's your prisoner, Lieutenant. Prisoner, Mutt. White man justice, good. Hawkeye, I'm sending the breech loaders to headquarters. I'd appreciate it if you'd escort them. Be glad to, Colonel. I knew you would. The wagon's waiting at the stockade gate. Hawkeye. I still can't understand how you could have been so calm when Tewan pulled those triggers. Well, now, Colonel, that's a compliment I don't rightly deserve. I reckon you'd have been just as calm if you knew that those breech loaders didn't have any firing pins. You mean you and Chingachgook? Well, Tuscarora, how? White brother and Mohican pull fangs. Goodbye, Colonel. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans.